Are you going to go back to Australia? It's at the moment a no. Yes. We are going on a nice walk, but my gimbal is playing up and we're about to just pass a truck for, what are the, one of those, what do they call it? The... Copy truck. Yeah. Copy trucks. For the celebrities. So I thought we were taking a walk today because today is probably the best weather in Seoul that we've had in Months. Months. Definitely the best one we've had in months. And one thing we can, I can, we can say is that summer has finally gone. Summer has finally yeah, gone. It's pissed off for once. And now we get to enjoy this <laughs> very short... Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. For some reason, my gimbal is not... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's doing like okay. twists and turns. Yeah. Lovely weather. Lovely. All right. So... We're back. We're back. Yeah. So what happened to that? What do you call that? Jim, gimbal. Yeah. Gimbal. 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 It really screwed up on me, so I have to now hold. <laughs> you threw it away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's useless. It's useless. Yeah. So. You know what? Said, I think the viewers need to see the sky. Yeah. Wow. Look at it. We've to never see had it. this beautiful weather in months. It's been too hot, but oh. I'm loving the wind, the temperature. That's why and we just enough sunlight, you know. That's why we came yeah, out today. Yeah, I love it. And uh, we're gonna go head out for some lunch, but before we thought we'd just uh -huh. do a little bit of a talk. Yeah. And sure. uh, one of the questions I get asked probably the most, Kihum, is, Are you happy? Are you going? <laughs> yeah, in that as well. Are you happy? <laughs> Are you going to go back to Australia now? Oh, like anytime soon, or in the future? Or? In the future. Oh, okay. So I thought, like. For me, it's at the moment a no. Mm. What about you? I'll tell you what reasons why I, I am a no at the moment, but what about you? you no, know, I'll be really honest with you. Yes. Really? I want to actually... Yes. A lot of things have changed mm -hmm. in my mind mm -hmm. uh, recently. And you know what? I really actually do want to go back now. Why do you want to go back though? Um, oh, like, I'll be honest with you. Like, I've, 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 lived enough, long enough mm -hmm. in Seoul mm -hmm. and I've experienced the city life as mm -hmm. much as I wanted to mm -hmm. and I think it's my age as well like mm -hmm. I just want to change in scenery mm -hmm. uh, just like you know something for a change for once Would you go back to Sydney? Uh, it doesn't even have to be Sydney uh -huh. anywhere in Australia or not even Australia but because I'm like an Australian citizen yeah. why not you know what I mean yeah it's easier a, fr a friend from Sydney came over um, mm. a couple of weeks ago and then she was saying why are you still in Korea <laughs> yeah. when you have Australian passport, like citizenship? I mean, what's holding you back? Mm. I'm like, hey, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. I never actually really thought about why I'm still here. Mm -hmm. When I'm the only reason I came to Korea was because I wanted to become a fashion model, yeah, yeah. An actor. <laughs> but I'm really over that now. So that time is that that, that <laughs> thing is flown by yeah, now. It's just gone by. It's gone by. It's, Seems like a long, long time ago. So I think like now, maybe I can kind of move on and start a new chapter in my life. And mm -hmm. maybe I'm very prone to um, the environment, mm -hmm. my surroundings, you know? I get affected by that a lot. So I think maybe if I can change things up around me, mm -hmm. something better might happen or like a different thing might happen. See, the reason why I say no at the moment uh -huh. is, well, my wife is, Got a really good job here. And oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my daughter is Korean as well, but she, I can get her uh, an Australian citizenship pretty okay. easily. I think. Yeah. Um, getting the visa for a partner is not as easy, but also the fact is that I don't know what I would do in Australia. This, this without me. That's true. Oh, Just no. minus me. You better, you better come with me. <laughs> if I go, you go with me. But. That's the thing is like, I know that I would get so much more footage in Australia than I would in Korea. Yeah. But the difference is like, I can't bet all my money True. by just going to Australia mm. to, to content create. Although, trust me, I really want to. Yeah. But why take 
the big risk. The big risk uh -huh. at the moment. I mean, it's such a niche market. Though people enjoy what we do, uh -huh. I know that people love what we do. Hmm. I don't, know if, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I told you. Be I still careful. managed to trip over. Um, I don't know what I would do exactly uh -huh. if I went back to Australia, like for a stable job, and to take my wife out of a good job and put her into like I don't know something that is pays a lot less is not fair for her. But you know, it's like you gain one and you lose one at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a risk you have to take, but in the long run. If you think about Yuna's like maybe education, yeah, I mean that could be the better better option. That's one reason why yeah. we are thinking about going uh -huh. is because of uh, my daughter's exactly. education. We don't want her to have the pressure of mm. like um, studying, you know, too, much. studying <laughs> too much here in Korea because yeah. we know that the study culture here is ridiculous. Yep. But you know, if if I could work away from like work from anywhere, I think that would be like. What I, you know, I would probably go back to Australia mm. as long as I'm earning enough mm. to support my family. Well, well, then maybe you can look for a job where you can actually, you know, work from home or you know, be a I'm digital that, nomad. I'm not that talented at any of. Oh, the, don't say that. Yeah, I'm not. Come on, trust. Don't, you're being too humble. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do honestly. Like in Australia, like we work in Pungsong here in in uh -huh. uh, like Korea, but that doesn't mean anything in Australia, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, it could mean something, but not a big thing. Not a big it won't thing. be a big thing. Wouldn't be a big thing. So mm. that's the reason why I worry so much about like uh -huh. what I would do or like who who would be the one to support the family, etc., etc. But so, you know, I think it's all it's all it's also about you don't really know until you get there. That's true. Yeah, and I'm sure there will be opportunities. I mean, it's a land of opportunity. It is the <laughs> land know? of opportunity. Australia and. What do you think you'd do though? What do you think you would do if you went back? Me? Yeah. Sell ice cream? No, 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 no. I actually Open thought about this. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought about this because I was having a chat with my friend from Sydney and yeah. she was like, you know, Korean uh, restaurants, yeah. they're going off right now. It's yeah, like yeah. the thing among so many Australians, uh, even just like people from different backgrounds, yeah. they all in enjoy, they love Korean food and people line up just to have like a sundaekguk right which right, is right. something that we can have anywhere in korea but in sydney there'll be only like one or two restaurants and people will just line up for 30 minutes an hour just to have a bowl of uh, sundaekguk yeah. yeah and i'm thinking what really it's that popular but she was like no it is really popular you K know food, what K i think would be pretty popular in australia as a business it would be like the uh, what do you call them? The guys who pick you up when you're drunk and they take you in your own car. I think that would take off in or Australia. Or even Uber. U Uber. Well, Uber does well, but I know yeah, it's yeah. like... There's already an Uber in Australia. Australia. But, but like, Teddy might work, definitely. Yeah, like, because some people don't want to take an Uber, they just want to take their own car home. Exactly. Like, I think that would be a, a pretty good business idea. You know what I also thought about? Opening up a Papingsu oh. store in Australia. I mean, it's much hotter than Korea. So like, that would work as well. Yeah. Don't take our ideas, by the way. Oh, shit. I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, Edit yeah. it. Yeah, Edit cut it out. <laughs> no, no, no. But, yeah, there'd be so many, like, good business, cre like, cre like uh, opportunities in Australia to do business, Korean businesses. So, like... Or vice versa. Or, vice or maybe person. vice versa, you know. I recently applied <laughs> for a position mm. in Austrade where, you know, mm. we, like, the Koreans uh, introduce a lot of uh, clients from Australia mm. to start a business in Korea mm. and vice versa as well. So I'm like, I think, you know, the relations are getting much better, stronger yeah. between Korea and Australia. And I'm sure, you know, there'll be a lot of opportunities that come mm. when you do actually go there. But I think it's just something that we always worry about because we're not actually there yet. And yeah, that's yeah. why we don't take the next step. That's true. Because we're not young anymore, you know. I know. <laughs> a lot of things comes with uh, responsibility. Like, if we went back in our 20s, I think we'd do oh, things a bit differently. I'll be already there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think, like, we'd do things differently. But now we're, you know, both of us oh, are in our mid-30s. Yeah. And especially you, like, you have a family to actually take care of. Yeah. And, uh, it's not a decision you can easily make on your own. No, not at all. Yeah. Even with me, like, I find it really hard to actually, you know. Hmm. Make, just come up with a decision, you know? 
it's it'd be really hard as like a person in well for anyone i mean like i said you're moving country completely yeah. in your early 20s is fine you've got no responsibility <laughs> But now that like you're in your thir- mid thirties, you got to be like, oh, my retirement plan. What mm. am I going to do? Some people like are really easygoing and they are able just to you know live off what they make off their yeah. part time jobs yeah. and not worry about the future. I wish I had that mindset, but I really don't. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can't uh, can't decide like if things take off on YouTube because I've got a few different projects happening. Yeah. Fantastic. Might go back to Australia, <laughs> but. Other than that, if there's nothing I can do here, uh, I don't know what, I, what else I could do really because like you said, we're getting older and you know, time's ticking away and it's running out, so. You know, despite talking about really depressing things right now, <laughs> like the view in front of us, it's like pretty grand. I mean, <laughs> that's, the, is that, that's the actual Yesure Jantang, right? Yeah, yeah, that is. And like the weather's beautiful. I'm just enjoying the nature right now. So yeah, we should just enjoy the, yeah, the moment like, right now. Enjoy the moment. Yeah. Live life. Yeah. Don't worry about the future. That's what that's what I wanted to say. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we do have to worry about our lives, yeah. our future. But at the same time, I'm like, hey, you know, let's just forget about those things for once mm. and just enjoy this moment. I think that, that means it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. I think that's ah, the lunch bell. Recess. Yay. <laughs> It's a little break. Little yeah. breaks on. Break time, guys. Get out. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a good time to wrap it, I think, yeah. after that. But uh, anyway, guys, what would you do in your, this situation? Would you, if you're living mm. in Australia, you're Korean, are you going to come back to Korea? If you're, in a, you know, if you're an Australian citizen or Australian, would you go back to Australia if you're living in Korea? Let us know in the comment section. Everyone, choco dera. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.